Let's talk about Microsoft and SAP. Hi, I'm Ian Thane. Welcome to another SAP Co Talk. And I do have my colleague Maxi from the developer relations team joining me from Munich. Maxi, thank you for joining for possibly your first real code talk. Hi, Ian. Yeah, glad to be here and good to see you again. So I say real code talk because we had, uh, we introduced you way back when you joined the team. So you're part of uh, Global Developer Relations as Developer Evangelist. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk to you about Microsoft and SAP. Uh, so um, let's just. Let's start, and I'm going to ask you the, the, the possibly the, the typical question: How does Microsoft and SAP fit together? Well, good question, Ian. Um, that was one of the question, or one of my first questions, admittedly. Um, well, I had a research on um, how does it fit together. I mean, one of the the common protocols in the SAP world is OData, so it's as you know, in um, yeah, very spread in SAP um, technology. And so is it in, in Microsoft's uh, technology. And uh, one of the reasons is because Microsoft developed it, uh, I think, around about 10 years ago. Um, so that's one of the reasons why it fits very well together, because both of the technologies uh, do support um, OData heavily. But that's just yeah, the one side of the coin, or not the one side of the coin, it's just one point. And one thing um, which I usually mention is that um, SAP and Microsoft have both um, a pretty huge um, user base. For example, SAP has run about 12 million users. Um, Microsoft Office 365, for example, um, has at least 150 million by the end of 2018. So um, for example, there may be some, some outliers, but usually a vast majority of um, uh, our users or um, folks out there uses Office tools and uh, not only for playing any games in Excel, but for productive usages. And so since a few folks um, watching this SAP call talks, they had, do also have um, SAP tools in place. And there might be a likelihood um, that folks out there have productive data um, on the one hand side in Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office and on the other hand in SAP. And um, both exist in a lot of enterprises, depending on where you're located. Um, and that's one of the reasons why either your employees or your customers can leverage from a combined application, for example. Excellent. Well, I think that was actually quite a hard opening question to sort of formulate, but that's that was a good that was a good description. Um, if any of our our, our co talk viewers have probably come to an SAP event like a Tech Ed or or other, they would have seen lots of SAP partners. And Microsoft is always there. Uh, so, what's the partnership between us all about? Um, we have several aspects of this partnership. It's nothing which is just on a, on a slide or on a roll-up or something like that. So um, on the one hand side, um, we have like bringing the, the technologies together in terms of that the development teams are working closely. Um, for example, there was on uh, the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona just a few weeks or months ago, the announcement that um, our IoT products are coming closely together. For example, um, that the Azure IoT Hub by Microsoft um, will be leveraged by SAP's IoT products um, for data ingestion, for example. Um, another point is that we are building showcases. And um, in the beginning, it felt like uh, showcases is something which is uh, for marketing. But um, to be frankly, or to be frank, um, that's not like that. So um, it's important for a lot of guys um, to um, get a feeling of what a live um, application is looking like. And by that, um, they get like their own or very own scenarios how to build an application. And it's not just something for marketing. Um, what else do we have? Um, we build tutorials um, and, and as part of the uh, partnership. So uh, we and um, some colleagues of Microsoft, for example, I'm very honored to uh, work with Holger Bruchel. You may also know because um, he's been on the code talks already. Um, which was a SAP employee, but is now with Microsoft and is luckily still working with us. So um, we are building tutorials in order to get you started or guys out there uh, started with simple and very straightforward introductions on how to build a very first own app. And by doing so, you will, uh, without any doubts, um, create your own ideas how to. And that's a fun fact, and that's not just uh, something I say. Uh, everybody with, for example, build um, their, their very own um, first apps at TechIt came up with their um, first ideas of a combined application. 
Well, I was actually going to ask you a question of you know, what do you do in this area, but I think you may have hit on a few of the uh, points already, you know, the tutorials, the, the events, anything else you can share with the audience? Well, um, personally speaking, from a developer evangelist perspective, um, we are trying to, in general, improve the tech um, as best as we can and spread the word about it. Um, not as a salesperson and not as a marketing person, but um, aiming on uh, developers that they can leverage uh, APIs, et cetera, um, in the best way. So on the one hand side, providing guidance um, coming from internals like the product manager and our um, user assistance developers, which are writing documentations um, in a consumable format like blogs, tutorials, videos, um, speaking at events um, together with um, people from Microsoft. And that's um, one important part of the partnership that it's not only us or not only them, but always together in order to um, answer uh, questions with uh, or in a sophisticated way that it's not only the SAP view or not an, uh, only the uh, Microsoft view, but a combined um, sophisticated um, solution, for instance. Well, I did actually see, I did see you tweet actually recently. You were on your travels doing, uh, with Code Jams. And uh, if anybody hasn't started to follow Matsy, please put his name into Twitter and start following him. Yeah, that's right. Um, for example, uh, we were at SAP now in was it beginning of March in Berlin. So I was there with uh, Holger, for example, talking about exactly those um, integration possibilities for um, Microsoft and SAP. And um, what I wanted to add is that um, it's not only the world from or the world the case that we provide insights uh, from product management to the outside world. It's um, also, and more important, um, the other way around. So um, if you folks uh, just experience some issues with um, exactly those integrations, um, we are happy to assist at any time. So um, just reach out to us via Twitter, blog, write us a letter, open a GitHub issue to tutorials. Um, so any feedback we receive will be um, yeah, forwarded, or not just forwarded, will be discussed with either our product management or the product management of Microsoft. Excellent. Yeah, I always say that uh, developer evangelism, we're the sort of the public face of the engineering teams and we not only give you information, but we'll take all that feedback back as well. So well said. Do you have any uh, sort of concrete examples that you can share with our audience to just give them a clearer picture? Yeah, for sure. Ian. Um, well, all of the things I've already talked about is more like the way um, I talk about marketing. But coming to a concrete example for developers or any responsibles out there, um, imagine you have a Fiori application showing um, some kind of sales orders. So um, where you usually approve, decline, monitor sales orders, um, anything like that. Um, but when you're honest, there's a lot of data still disconnected from SAP systems. Um, like you have discussions in Microsoft Teams and um, mails in Outlook. You have a list of sales orders in Excel uh, stored in SharePoint or anything like that. And if there's no connection in any case um, between your extension or integration on the SAP Cloud Platform, which is actually a place where you, you're supposed to build the extension, um, and your Office 365 suite, um, everybody has to get a, the needful in a yeah, kind of manual and um, complex manner. So what if there's an option in your application to just do that manually, like the ability to display mails of your inbox regarding um, a sales order ID? With only one click and um, the very important point in real time, but it's not just something which is stored in SAP systems or in Microsoft systems the other way around. It's always in real time, and that's kind of a unique experience we we've already seen and uh, to the end users um, with a reduced amount of clicks, and most likely with a more um, yeah, not not with a more, but with a better result if all of that um, happens automatically. In the background with manual effort, uh, effort in terms of yeah, searching the exact details. Cool. And you've been waving your pen around for the last question. And I do notice that you've got some of it written on the back behind you. So I'm going to say, what can our audience, where can they go to get started? Well, um, I will come back to that. But just um, I wanted to add something, um, or I forgot something to my to my previous question. Oh, OK, sorry, yeah. Um, well, it's not only it's not a one-way integration like um, integrating uh, Office 365 in an SAP application, but also the other way around. Like yeah. you have a Microsoft app, like a Logic app on Azure, and you want to trigger a SAP workflow or something like that, which is uh, also a very cool and common use case. Um, 
And additionally, where well, I'm not an expert, admittedly, um, it's also um, on an infrastructure level. So there's a lot of SAP systems hosted on Azure systems. And um, something I published just a few days ago, there is um, a common use case that your Azure Active Directory, where your um, already set up user base is located, um, can be integrated with, for example, SAP Cloud Platform to have a still a single point of truth according to your users. And yeah, coming back to your question, what's that behind me? Um, I wanted to uh, talk about how somebody out there, because that's one of our main responsibilities, um, can get started. And there are actually three entry points. Um, on the one hand side, it's um, developersmicrosoft.com slash graph, which is the second one. Hope you're able to see it, um, which is the entry point for all Office 365 um, APIs on the Microsoft side. So you're able to um, jumpstart with a, a sandbox without registering or something like that. You can just simply play around with all the APIs and see what the feedback is, as I said, in OData. Um, and the equivalent on the SAP side is the API Business Hub, which you may already know is apisap.com. Um, exactly the same case, you have a sandbox. Um, you only need a, a SAP user to play around with some APIs. And at the end of the day, if you're struggling with integrating those two worlds, which might be the actual problem, there is um, developersap.com, which is our um, developer center and our tutorial navigator, where there are some examples to um, or about how to integrate those two worlds in a combined application at the end of the day. Maxi, thank you for joining me. And we'll see you again on another Code Talk soon. Thanks for having me, Ian.